Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can install Docker Desktop on Ubuntu PC 22.4 LTS. If you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So let's go to the Docker documentation, docs.docker.com, and click the manual tab and scroll down and on the install Docker desktop section, let's click Linux. And on the left side, the installation per Linux distro, we have to select the proper platform. In this case, the Ubuntu, click the install on Ubuntu. This will now show you the guide on how to install Docker desktop on your machine. So let's scroll down a bit. And this is the recommended approach to install the Docker desktop. So on the step one, let's first set up the Docker package repository. Let's go to the link and let's just follow the instruction here. Let's copy the first command, copy and paste to the CLI. Go back to the documentation, copy and then paste it here then go to the next step paste it here then the curl command until the end copy and paste it here yep and then the last command to change the permission Copy and paste. Okay, we're done. So next is to add the repository to APT source. The location for that would be under etc slash apt. So let's uh, copy the echo command until the sudo t section. Copy and paste here. Enter. Good. And then let's do a sudo apt get update paste it here yep we're done installing the doc the docker package repository then let's go back to the other documentation so let's proceed on step two we need to download the latest debian package for docker desktop let's click this link and it will download the software package let's wait for a few seconds here okay it's completed and let's go to our download folder cd downloads and as you can see the uh, file is already in our download folder so let's proceed on step three install the package just let's just follow the instructions so sudo apt update and then sudo apt install and then dot forward slash and then the file name Docker desktop and enter. Let's wait to unpack the package and it will install it for us. Let's wait for a few minutes. It's almost done. Now it's completed. But there is a message at the end about the permission denied. But let's check the uh, documentation. So there is a note here at the end of the installation process, APT displays an error due to installing a download package. You can ignore this message. So this is the exact message what we see here in the CLI. So the, you, we can ignore that one. So let's launch the Docker desktop. So you can use this command via the CLI or just search for the Docker desktop. Just type Docker and then click this and it will load the application for us and click accept. And then if you don't have a Docker Hub account, that's okay. 
we can continue without signing in. Let's click that one. And I'm going to select System Administrator. And for this demo, I'm going to click Local Development, Continue. So this is the graphical user interface of the Docker desktop. When you click on the containers, you can just search for the container that you would want to run. So let's say you want to run Nginx container, just uh, click on run. Or if you just want to download the image, just uh, press the pull. You can still use the command line interface anytime you want. So let's do that. So let's say we create a volume. So Docker volume create test one volume. Let's do another volume creation. Docker volume create test two underscore volume. If you go to the Docker desktop and then check our volumes, you will see the volumes that we just created. So let's try creating a container. So let's do docker container run and then minus D, which is detach. IT is interactive. And then let's name the container as Ubuntu name per se. And then let's put a host name. Let's say Ubuntu host name. And then let's add a DNS resolver. So let's say 8.8.8.8, and then you can now specify the image name, which is Ubuntu. So it will download the latest image from the Docker Hub. And then, yep. So when we check the Docker container, it's up and running. So let's go back to the Docker desktop. And let's verify the container. When we go to the containers, as you can see, the Ubuntu dash name is now running. And if you want to check the file system of this container, just click this and you can go to the files. So this will be the file system inside the container Ubuntu. Then if you want to, you know, configure something in the file system inside the container, just click the exec, which is the actual terminal of the container. So let's say we go to the home directory and we create a file. Let's say touch test1.txt. If we go back to the files and then home, we can see the file that we just created. So if you want to verify it from the CLI, you can also do that by doing the docker container exec minus it and then the name of the container ubuntu name and then bash so as you can see the container has a host name this is the one we specified when we run the container ubuntu dash host name so let's go to the home directory if you do a list, the file that we created is, is showing here. Let's also verify the uh, DNS settings that we configured when we run the container. So let's check cat etc resolve.conf. So the public resolver of Google is now showing inside the container. So let's run a simple dig command, dig facebook.com. So it's now resolving against the Google public resolver, which is 8.8.8. .8 .8. Thank you.